Hey guys, this is Aditi from Adelicious. So my father loves himself some good old loaf cakes. But this year for Father's Day, I decided to sneak in a little surprise in his loaf cake. So let's begin as we have two cakes to bake. Ingredients and quantities will be listed down below in the description box. Let's start with our chocolate cake. So in a clean bowl, sift together some all-purpose flour, some cocoa powder, Along with that, we'll add in some baking soda, some baking powder and some salt. So here the granulated sugar, I'm counting it as a dry ingredient. You do definitely don't need to sift it, but I just added it. Sift everything together and making sure you remove all the lumps. Give it a good whisk so that everything is nicely mixed through. Moving on to our wet ingredients, here I have some buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you can substitute it with milk mixed with some white vinegar. The quantity is listed down below. Add it to the bowl. In goes the vegetable oil. I am using canola oil but you can use a sunflower oil as well. Any flavorless oil will do. Add in 2 eggs. Here I have some hot water mixed with some instant coffee. Coffee provides great flavor to any chocolate cake. In it goes along with some good vanilla extract. Give it a good whisk. And now it's time to mix in the two together. So into your dry ingredients, add the wet ingredients and using a hand blender, mix, beat it for about a minute till it's nice and incorporated. After a minute of beating, your batter is ready. So to bake my cake, I'm using a 9 by 13 inch baking tray which I've oiled and lined with some baking paper. If you don't have a large tray like this, use a square cake mold. You'll just have to divide the cake layers into two to cut out the letters. Pour in the batter, making sure it's evenly distributed throughout the tray. Give it a few taps to release any air bubbles and in it goes into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 to 12 minutes. This Cake bakes really fast, so you need to keep an eye. You know it's done when a skewer inserted clear comes out clean. Leave the cake to cool for 10 minutes till it's cool to handle. After 10 minutes, run a knife around the edges of the cake, so it'll be easier to release the cake. Flip it onto a wire rack and then flip it again so that it's face side up and place it on the wire rack to cool completely. Cover it with a tea cloth so that it doesn't dry out. Once our cake is nice and cool, I'm using some alphabet cutters over here which I'll be using for my surprise inside the cake. The length of the cutter should not be more than the height of the pan you'll be using to bake the cake. The dimension of my pan and the cutters in the description box below. Here I have a baking tray which I'll be putting the cut out letters on. So I'm spelling out dad inside my cake. So for that I need D's and A's. So here I start with cutting out some D. Don't forget to remove the center. Keep it on your baking tray because we need to freeze these letters later on. Clean your cutters in between cuts if you need to if there is any cake stuck on the cutter. You can check how many letters you need in each row by putting the cutout letters in the cake pan and checking for how, my, how many more you need. I think I'll go for 6 to snugly fit them in the mold. After the D, it's now time for the A alphabet. Punch out the letter and don't forget to remove the center and gently push the A out of the cutter. My letters are all cut out. I have a couple of extras just in case of breakage. Pop the tray in the freezer for an hour or so so that they don't deform later on. Once the letters are almost frozen, let's start working on our vanilla cake. In a clean bowl, sift together your dry ingredients. So here I have some all-purpose flour along with some baking powder, baking soda and some salt. Sift it nicely to remove any lumps. Once done, let's move on to our wet ingredients. In a bowl, crack in two eggs. Add in some granulated sugar. And using a hand blender, whisk it till it's nicely combined, a little frothy and a little paler in color for about 30 seconds or so. After 30 seconds of beating, gradually start adding the vegetable oil while your beater is still on. Once nicely combined, now it's time to add in our vanilla extract. I'm using vanilla bean paste because I want specks of vanilla running throughout the cake but you can use vanilla extract as well. Time to beat in the flour into the egg matter. Add half of the flour mix to the egg mixture. Beat it till it's nicely incorporated and then add in the buttermilk. 
and then add in the rest of the flour to the mix and beat it together till it's nicely incorporated. Don't over mix the batter, you don't want a tough cake. I'll be using my 4 inch by 8 inch loaf tin to bake my cake which I've greased and lined with some parchment paper. Put in a cup of the batter into the mold, spread it around. This will act as a glue to keep our uh, alphabets in place. By this time, the letters are also frozen and makes it easier to handle. Some of the cake batter into a piping bag, it will help us to pipe out the cake batter into the holes of the alphabets. Place the alphabet along the side of the mold, pipe in the batter into the center and keep repeating this till a row is completed and the letters are snugly fit in like this. Now that our D is complete, we'll move on to the A. Place the A along the side of the mold pipe in the batter into the center and keep repeating this for all the alphabets till you are done with complete D A D dad. And now that all my alphabets are nicely in place, pipe in the rest of the batter on top of the alphabets. The alphabets should be completely submerged into the cake batter. Top it up with all the leftover batter. And once all the batter is in place, tap the mold on the bench to remove any air pockets so that batter reaches all the crevices nicely. Bake the cake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 55 minutes to an hour. After 55 minutes, check the cake. You know it's done when a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. If your cake is browning too much and is not fully cooked, cover it with a piece of foil during the baking and continue baking till it's done. Leave the cake to cool for 10 minutes and then run a knife around the sides of the cake to release it. Tip it out and onto a wire rack. Remove the parchment paper and keep it to cool completely before we do our final decoration. Now my cake is completely cool. It's time to frost my cake. I'm using chocolate ganache to frost the cake which is nothing but equal parts of chocolate and cream mixed together and Heated in the microwave at 30 second intervals till it's nicely mixed together and then I've allowed it to cool till it reaches this consistency. I will just frost the top of the cake. I'm not doing the sides of the cake because my dad doesn't like too much frosting. But feel free to frost the entire cake if you want to keep the surprise inside. Or you can even leave it out completely and just dust some powdered sugar on top. Put on the frosting onto the cake. And then using a small palette knife, spread it evenly around the top of the cake. Smooth it out. And now using the back of the spatula, I'm just creating a wave pattern throughout the cake. Like this. And using diagonal strokes, I'm going to imprint few lines which will give it a nice look. And now I'm done frosting the cake. To jazz up my cake a little more, I have made this simple bunting which is nothing but uh, paper straws and some jute twine on which I have some, I've cut out some flags and written Happy Father's Day. Insert the bunting onto the cake and now you are ready to surprise your dad with this lovely cake. I am really happy with how the outside of the cake turned out but the real test is what's inside. So let's see how the inside of the cake turned out. If I could have some drum rolls. And voila, it's a perfect cake. Look how beautiful that dad has come out. I'm, I'm sure your dad would definitely enjoy this cake if you make it for him. This cake not only looks good, it tastes amazing too. It's a nice moist cake. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Give this recipe a try and if you do, don't forget to share a picture with me. Please subscribe to my channel, comment and share this video. See you again next Thursday for more such videos. Till then, happy baking.